Oh, hey. How are you? You, my favorite viewer, thank you so much for popping in and taking a look at this video. Today, I have another fun one. 3D engraving, slate, fiber laser. If you missed my first video on 3D engraving, at least my first recent video, I put it out last week. There's a link down below and you'll find a link to 3D engraving on wood and I go over some image adjustment properties. I'm going to highlight those again today just to re-emphasize a couple points and uh, hopefully that helps you out. And I'm also going to show you my settings for the fiber laser for 3D engraving using light burn, 3D slice mode on slate coasters. So enough of the intro, let's just jump right into light burn and we'll get started. All right, folks, what you see before you are two different grayscale images. So you need a 3D grayscale or a depth map in order to use this technique with Lightburn 3D Slice. So whatever image you have, it has to be a depth map. So keep that in mind. And you are going to get this pirate depth map for free. Compliments of sharks with, whoops, L-A-S-E-R-S. -E I can't type today. Compliments of Sharks with Lasers. Please check the description down below so you can hit the link to go to Sharks with Lasers Patreon. He does great work on 3D grayscales. If you saw my video last week, that was a grayscale provided by Sharks with Lasers. And the best part about this is for my viewers, you are going to get this pirate image for free. So stay tuned, and I'll tell you how to get it. But you want to check out Sharks with Lasers. So this is a Sharks with Lasers grayscale. So this one is Sharks with Lasers. And when you have a Sharks with Lasers grayscale, and you go to Adjust Image, here's what you do with Sharks with Lasers grayscales to adjust them. Nothing. Do not do anything. Don't touch anything. They are adjusted and ready to go. All right, now, if you have a grayscale such as this one, which is not a Sharks with Lasers grayscale, you can make image adjustments. So as I said in the last video, when considering that you're working with a 3D grayscale, adjusting the contrast, think of that as adjusting the height difference between the darks and the lights. Brightness. That's the overall depth. So if you want to make it deeper in general, you can darken that up. So here, contrast, height difference between darks and lights. Brightness is overall depth. Darker is deeper. And gamma adjusts the midtones. So the tones that are in between the black and the white, that brings them either closer together or farther apart. So if you're wanting to increase the variation in height between those mid layers, that's where you would adjust the gamma. But like I said, with the Sharks with Lasers grayscale, we do not want to adjust anything. So I'm not using this one. I'm gonna use the Sharks with Lasers grayscale. It doesn't need any adjustment. I'm not gonna give you the settings yet, I'm going to roll in some footage of a couple different coasters engraving. One's going to be on the 60 watt JPT. The other's going to be on the 120 watt JPT. But the good thing is for those that don't have a MOPA, these settings will work for you. Stay tuned. I'll go over all the settings for you and a couple things you can change to vary your end result. So let's just jump right into 3D engraving a slate coaster with Lightburn 3D Slice. Shop, it's about to go down. Got the light burn fired up, no messing around. Metal wood 
acrylic, watch me carve that crown Design so sharp, make the haters frown Spinning that rotary, getting that glass to clean The same, the dream, this works extreme Light source videos, I'm running the scene No limits to the hustle on this daily routine It's light source, hitting hard in our shop Got the lasers burning hot, ain't ever gonna stop Make it, vids dropping hits, watch it pop We in the shop, and we climbing to the top we need a custom piece, yeah I'm on the case Laser so sharp I can etch your face Every vid I drop blowing up in no time Fans going crazy, this grind's all mine I'm slicing through wood, etching steel with skill Precision so sharp, gets the haters a chill Ain't him locked in, perfect real, no frills From the shop to the screen, I'm stacking up drills Light source hitting hard in our shot Got the lasers burning hot, ain't ever gonna stop Making vids, dropping hits, watch them pop We in the shop and we climbing to the top Custom 3D, you know where to come Lasers light it up, leave the competition numb Logos, names no doubt, I get it done Contents fire burning hotter than the sun Little bit of hustle, whole lot of fight Turn the camera on, we're working all night In the shop daily, no time to chill We own this game, always moving uphill It's light, source hitting hard in our shop Got the lasers burning hot, ain't ever gonna stop Make it, vids dropping hits, watch them pop We in the shop and we climbing to the top And before we wrap this up, I want to give a huge shout out to Sharks with Lasers. Thank you so much for providing me some quality, high quality 3D grayscales to do some testing and also provide one of your high quality files to my viewers. That means a lot. I look forward to working with you more in the future. And you guys, be sure to check the link in the description for Sharks with Lasers. It takes you to their Patreon. And when you're a Patreon member, you get access to a drive depending on your tier, tier, and you'll have a bunch of files in there, and then they also produce files for sale. So be sure and check them out. And thanks again, Sharks with Lasers. All right, so what you're looking at here are engravings done with the 120 watt fiber laser. So this is a crow and a skull, and then it has a hexagon background. It turned out real nice. Then we have this yin yang with an angel and a reaper. I'm going to slide over here to this reimagination of the Mario Brothers plant. So it's a plant from Super Mario Brothers, just a, a new take on it that Sharks with Lasers had done. And then here is the pirate. As you can see, there's quite a bit of depth there. And this one, I just sprayed with some acrylic. That came out real nice. With the acrylic. Now, let me show you an experiment that I did. And this is epoxy filled. It looks really cool. It looks nice, but you lose some of the, you can't really tell some angles if it has a depth to it or if it's just an image. It looks cool either way. I like it. At least this way, if you make it, you could use it as a drink coaster and not have to worry about destroying your artwork. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to do a comparison of the 60 watt versus 120 watt. But this isn't a fair comparison. 
I ran all of these at 64 passes, except for this guy right here. He was actually ran at 100. And I'll tell you why I decided on 100. Because when I decided to double 64 to 128, this happened. So just a few too many passes there. But he had nice depth and detail. And I actually stopped it before it finished the whole 128. And that looks nice. And there's 64. And that looks nice. And here, again, we have the 120 on the left, 60 on the right. And they were done at the same number of passes, 64. The details on those background symbols really came out nice. And the reason I'm showing you these different images is just to have a little bit of a variety so they don't all look the same. So 60 on the right and 120 on the left. So this one is a really good comparison showing that the 120 did bring out more depth given the same number of passes. So on an image like this, I'd probably want to bump that up to maybe 80 passes just to bring out the detail, that hexagon background pattern. And here's the yin yang with the angel and the grim reaper. You can tell just from the shadow the depth that was achieved there. And then for this one, the 120 wasn't too bad. Kept up with it pretty good. So it just depends on the grayscale you're using, how many passes you're going to need to run, bring out the detail that you desire in your final product. And here's a close-up of the epoxy coated, or epoxy filled. So you can see the depth is there. The epoxy just kind of not quite as noticeable. And I'm out of my go-to Rust-Oleum Triple Thick, and I had a little bit of this acrylic left, so I thought I'd use it. And it actually turned out pretty good. So put that in a stand. That would make a nice decoration on the shelf. All right, now that you saw the results, let's go over the settings that brought us to those results. So for the 60-watt, so a 50-60-watt laser, this setting should work just fine. I'm running the speed of 2000, power of 95, frequency of 80, Q pulse of 200. So that'll work for any laser. It doesn't have to be a MOPA. Line interval is 0 0.08. And it's, of course, 3D sliced. And 64 passes. That's a good place to start, depending on how much depth you want. So start there. You can always work your way up if you want to bring up more detail or get it to go a little deeper. So that's the 60 watt. Now let's go to the 120 watt. It's also a speed of 2000, max power of 80, frequency of 100, Q pulse of 200, line interval of 0 0.08. Of course, it is again 3D sliced, 64 passes, and depending on depth, as you saw, the one coaster I did with 100 passes and it looked good. The one that I tried with 128 passes it started to burn through. I uh, tried to pick the thickest coaster I had and it still went through it. So your mileage may vary on how many passes you run due to detail that you desire and the thickness of your coasters. But in general, this should do you pretty well as a starter setting. And that's all I have for this video. Hopefully it helps you out. For a more thorough explanation of the adjustments, you can check out the 3D engraving on wood and that video was done with the diode laser here we did slate with the fiber laser co2 galvan owners stay tuned because i've done many projects 3d engraving in acrylic and they turn out amazing that's going to be part three of the new 3d engraving series for lightbird so stay tuned for that hit the like button 
click the bell and be sure you're subscribed. And that's all it takes to get notified when the next video comes out. Thank you, channel members and patrons. You guys have sponsored all the slate that I use for testing. I greatly appreciate it. And patrons, all of those pieces of slate that end up having the final designs, I'm giving these away to patrons only. Uh, you guys will see that on my patron site. Enough about that. Hope you've learned something. Please leave a comment. I try to get back to all comments within a reasonable period of time. I do have a part-time job and work more often. I work more than part-time hours here lately. So I'll get back to you as soon as I can, I promise. Um, but let me know if you learned anything or if you hated anything. Constructive feedback is always good. But that's all I have for today. And uh, let's see. Most importantly, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.